I'm ready to go. Very good. Mm -hmm. So when you were looking um, in the transfer portal last year, like why um, or what about Oregon State made this uh, the right choice for you? Um, so going back to high school, uh, I would had a little bit of a relationship with Coach M, came to some camps out here, and he recruited me a little bit. And so um, he kind of had already built that relationship. And then when I got into the portal, he hit me up and offered me, and I got to talking with him and just kind of hearing from around. I mean, it seemed like he was the best online coach out there. He was going to help me develop as much as I could. So I felt like Coach M and then being a little bit closer to home, that was like another really nice perk too. So just those two things right there made it like really hard to not come in. How, how close did you come to going to Oregon State out of high school? Um, out of high school, it was pretty close. I was just kind of waiting on them to give me an offer. Uh, I had a little bit of a knee injury that scared them off, but I mean, I'm sure I was pretty close. If they would have offered me, I probably would have definitely came, but what, it didn't work out. What is it about Coach Maholchek that really sold you about this organization, made you believe that he can bring out the best of you? What, what was it about that relationship that you guys had? Um, really, it was just coming on my visit, seeing the way, um, not even just Coach M, but like the other guys in the O-line room are doing extra work, like not, Coach M doesn't have to tell everybody to get out here and do some extra drills after practice or in the off season. Like guys are doing that themselves, guys are leading that, and I really like that, and I wanted to be in that culture. And then, I mean, just looking at the product they put on the field these last couple of years and how well they ran the ball, like it was pretty clear that something was going right over here. Is there anyone that's kind of taken you under the wig and that's talked to you, that's kind of helped you get a little bit, you know, closer to the organization, closer to the lineman group, that's really made you feel like you're a part of the family, you're a part of this group? Yeah, I would say, I mean, everybody has been super accepting, making me feel like just family. Um, as far as football helping me out, uh, like Henley Bloomfield, he's been giving me just a lot of advice, a lot of technique tips and stuff, just constantly giving me feedback, which I really appreciate. He's been like a good leader in that sense. But I mean, everybody on the line uh, helps out, so it's been really good. Sorry, man, it's a hot day. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you, you play at least four positions. I don't know if you play center or not, but where did that come from? Um, I've just been tackle all my life, but um, I guess just confident that I'd be able to go inside and get it done. I had one start last year at Nevada. I played some guard and it went pretty well and coach asked me to play some guard. I repped it and it felt good. So, just... What did you learn playing in Nevada? Did you pick a three? Four years or three? Uh, three, yeah. Three. What did you learn? Um, I think it just helped me just grow a lot of confidence in myself, um, especially last year getting to start a whole season, going against that college competition. You know, coming out of high school, I wasn't really sure what the kind of competition was going to be like and then Going to Nevada, playing in some games, getting starts, just knowing that I can like compete at the college level just really helped me build my confidence and just all the coaches there helped me improve throughout my entire time there. So. You in the in the mountain what you, you could be all obviously all, all conference in that league. What prompted you to want to come here and maybe challenge yourself at, at a different level? Um just I think that coming here, like Coach M just um, just gives me the best chance to keep developing into a better better and better player. Maybe if I stayed back, um, maybe wouldn't have got that coaching, who knows, but I think that coming here, I gave myself the best chance to be like as good of a player as I possibly can be. Yeah. What What is it about his coaching style that really, you know, vibes with you, that you really feels like, again, gets the best out of you, gets something on the field? What does he do? I think just, he does a good job of um, relating, like making everything kind of simple to understand as far as like concept wise. And like the playbook is, uh, there's like a process for learning it. It's, um, and if you follow that process, it's pretty easy to learn and you can follow it really well. So How was it learning that playbook, you know, and coming in uh, from completely new offense it's now? So how was how was that adjustment for you? Uh, it was a little bit of time. Um, Coach Lyles, our GA, he definitely spent some time with me, helped me out a lot. And, I mean, just everybody else on the team, too, um, on the O-line, helped me out a ton with it. But it was just just spending time, getting in it, like looking through it, watching cut-ups, watching film, and just seeing it over and over again until you got it. So a lot of repetition. Yeah, a lot of repetition. How good do you think this line can be? Um, I think as hard as we can work is as good as we can be. I think, especially we got a lot of guys, um, five starters, and I think we got a lot of guys behind them too that can uh, come in and play whenever we need them to, whenever we need to, and um, I think we can be really good. What is it about the offensive line that you enjoy most? Is it when you guys get a big play on passing, when you guys open up a good block for the running backs? What is it that you enjoy most about being? I mean, springing, springing a big, long touchdown run and just getting to chase a running back down the field and go celebrate in the end zone, that's as good as it gets. I mean, there's nothing better than that. But, I mean, outside of football, too, just I think O-line's got the best personalities on the teams, and they're just the most fun guys to hang out with. So I love getting in the O-line room and just in between meetings, in between practice, whatever it is, just hanging out, just making jokes, everything.
You guys play any video games or anything like that? How competitive does it get outside of the football? Um, not a ton of video games. Some of us play a little poker on the weekends okay. when we can find some time, so that's always fun, but nothing too crazy. Who's usually winning? Uh, me and T-Volt, Tyler Volton, we, we take down the money. What's been the most fun part of just watching this offense grow from the time you stepped on campus to now in fall camp, competing out here with full pads, season's right around the corner. What's, just what's the best part? Um, I just say from spring coming into this summer, just consistency, still trying to work on being consistent as an offense, but just um, I think everybody on the O-line is kind of taking a step up from spring ball. Um, just as a group, we've all been trying to get better. So I think we've definitely taken a step ahead from the time I've been in here. And then on the other positions too, I mean, we got like three quarterbacks that all look really good. And so, I mean, that's exciting to see. So, yeah. What's it like blocking for a running back like Damian who just needs to slide into the gap? Yeah, man, it's, it's fun because there's a lot of times where, you know, he'll get hit two yards or whatever, but he breaks through tackles, keeps going. I mean, we had it in the scrimmage on Saturday. He had one where maybe should have been down after a few yards and he busted it out for like 20. So he's, he's really special. It's really cool to watch him run. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks.